New at six, a man is battling a Vibrio infection. It is also known as the flesh eating bacteria. And unfortunately, it is found in local brackish waters. One case has been reported in Mobile County and family members are wanting to warn others. NBC 15's James Gordon talked to the family. James, this is some nasty stuff. How is that patient doing tonight? Well, I talked to the victim's sister tonight uh, off camera. Now, she tells me that her brother's leg was almost amputated. He is recovering tonight, but they say it was a big scare. On a beautiful day like today, Mobile Bay is nothing but appealing. The last thing on anyone's mind is the Vibrio vulnificus bacteria, better known as Vibrio, that could be lurking in these waters. Randy Bierma loves to fish, but he's also careful. Uh, I would bathe when I would leave here and make sure my I'm cleaned up good. Uh -huh. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, that's something that, that uh, do you do it right away or? Uh, I try and wash my hands here somewhere in the bathroom, and then when I go home, I take a shower. Fairhope Dr. Michael McBeardy says the last case in Baldwin County was this past June, but he's not surprised by the recent case in Mobile. After all, it's a natural occurring bacteria, and when the waters are warm, it can be very active. But within a day or two, this can infiltrate underneath the skin and actually move up into whatever tissue is, is damaged. Mm. And you can get it from something as simple as, as a barnacle scratch. If you're cut or have a cut going into the water, there are signs to look for. You'll still have the cut, but there'll just be a little red line around the cut. But if you see that spreading out, so if two or three days out, that thing doesn't look like it's resolving, you need to get taken care of. Now, the health department periodically will test the bacteria, but only when they've received word of a number of cases. Now, waters are typically tested for swimming, but they're looking for fecal bacteria there. And now we're live in Baldwin County, James Gordon, NBC 15 News.